Hello fellow geeks. So Black Ops is finally out on xCloud and Xbox Game Pass and uh, I thought this was a right opportunity to show you how the game works on the xCloud system. I recently bought an 85 inch TV Samsung frame and I was really looking forward to playing uh, the Xbox games with no console attached to it. So I thought Black Ops would be a really good game to start off with because it will actually test whether the lag times of xCloud are actually going to impact the gameplay experience. So Black Ops is out on um, Xbox, PlayStation and PC. So the advantage of uh, having this game out on xCloud is you don't have to download the whole game or the every other update that we get and it would not sit in your hard drive taking up that premium space. You can just log in to xCloud and play these games. I have actually played this game on Xbox Series S and I did not like the experience. The graphics were pretty bland and washed out. So I decided to play it on xCloud instead. And uh, here's the video of me playing a match on xCloud. It's a short clip. It's on my 85 inch Samsung frame TV with xCloud and it is hardwired to ethernet. So your mileage may vary depending on the condition in which you're playing. So let me know in the comments what you think about it. From my perspective, the game is playable. The response time might be slightly lower than playing natively on a console, but the whole experience was overall pretty good. And the whole idea of not having to install, update it every single time is pretty good. So watch this video and let me know what you think. So starting the game is pretty easy. You can just log into the xCloud gaming app, search for the game and hit play. It takes some time to actually launch the cloud gaming system. And then we jump into the game almost like within 10 to 15 seconds. So first off, visually, it does look like I'm playing this game natively, but I'm not. It's via xCloud. So it essentially syncs your saves from any prior saves for the game. And once the data is synced, it just jumps onto the game. And then you're launched into the Call of Duty HQ. From where you can easily start the game. So usually when I'm playing natively on my console, the, the ping times that it searched for usually starts from 11 millisecond. In this case, you can check it's eight milliseconds which might have to do with the location of the servers from where i'm playing so maybe that's an advantage that we can potentially have and here's the game so this is a domination match so this is probably second or third time that i'm playing this game so maybe i'm not that great in this match but i'll quickly show you a few clippings and then you can figure out whether you think that xCloud is a good platform to play this game on. So let me know in the comment section what you feel about it and whether you got a chance of playing it on xCloud. So until next time, Geekstradamus signing off.